Ready? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Famous and Now We're Happy. I'm Crystal. And I'm Enrique. And we're finally back. Um, we lost our passwords and we finally recorded them. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, no, life happened. We won't get into the specifics, but you know, like. Yeah, probably in a future episode we could talk about what we've gone through and stuff. But yeah. as of now, we want to get right into this video because we have been waiting. We are the we are in the end of September and we've been waiting to listen to this album as a reaction with you guys. Um so yeah, we haven't heard anything from this album other than the Bad Habit. Yeah. And that other song um Mercury. Mercury. Yeah, Mercury. Mer Mercury. <laughs> Mercury. Mercury. Mer Mercury. Mercury. Merca. Why is that hard to say? Mercury. Um, we reacted to those individually when they came out as singles. So yeah. we're familiar with those two. But other than that, um, yeah, we don't know this album at yeah. all. So we're really excited. And it's super short, 20, 35 minutes, 10 songs. So, yeah, first track is Static. That way we could start listening to this on our own time. <laughs> Baby, you got something in your nose. Sniffing that K. Did you feel the hole? Hope you find peace for yourself. New boyfriend ain't gonna feel the void. Do you even really like this track? Take away the drugs. Would you feel the noise? More and more you try to run away. Fucking yourself, do you feel the toy? Uh, looking for a bitch, cause I'm over boys. Would you be my girlfriend, baby? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something turned me off. Smoke. Oh, that was nice. Made. That was nice. <laughs> Cause I'm longing oh, focus. Yeah, he's so good For something secure If you had to you start had your shining oh, For your lover Dump that fucker Don't forget, if you guys want the uncut version, it will be in the, the link down below. Okay, okay. Next track is Do you have something to say about this? No, I feel like uh, maybe that first song kind of set the tone for the album. I mean, just hearing Bad Habit and Mercury. So, yeah, we'll move on to the next track. The next track is called Helmet. So, yeah. Um, I'm not for sale. Tried to play pretend, try not to see the end, but I couldn't see you the waste on me. Now I can feel the waste on me. I try my best to be worth all your while. You just gotta let me go as I'm trying to let go of you. This 
one's a lot more groovier. Yeah. From the first one. I like it. Another long outro. What you think of that one? I like that one. Um, it definitely more groovy, like you said. I like how towards the end, his voice was the main focal point, and it just felt like he was singing right into the mic, and that you were, um, you know, just like as if you were watching him perform, like sing mm -hmm. it. So it was like very crisp and clear. You could. And I love when tone. he when he did that at a uh, bad habit where he just cancels everything. Yes. That thing was so tight. F Steve Lacey, like just based on his um, other albums, he is a great artist to switch up the song midway. Like, you know, you're starting the song, and like if you were to skip over, you would have thought it was a whole different song. Mm. Um. I, so I really like that of him, and I know he's going to deliver more of that because, like, that's what makes him unique mm -hmm. for me when I listen to Steve Lacey. Yeah, that's very true. The next one is Mercury, which we're familiar with it, but let's just listen to it throughout the... You know, I like listening to the Hell album. Which I haven't heard it since we reacted to it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 
that's like that describes a Gemini. Little, what did he say? Little of heaven, little, little of pleasant. pleasant. I don't know. Yeah, he's definitely you know, playing that with two face twin sister. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> It always sounds like you're going to say a lot more. It does, but then it's just <laughs> short. Which we don't need a full explanation. Yeah. Switched up this song like I was talking about. I love it. Rolling stones don't crawl back in. It's almost like two songs in one song. Yeah. It keeps you engaged though the whole time in the song. Like surprises or something. Yeah. That was a cool song. Really talking about the Gemini's. Obviously, the album's called Gemini Rights. And I'm a Gemini. So I really, um, I wanted to ask you, dating a Gemini for the past six, seven years, <laughs> can you relate to... Yes. Can you stick by the ride? It's a thrill. My layers. This is the lyrics I'm reading. It says, you think I'm two-faced. I can name 23. My layers, all these sides. Can you stick by buy for the ride it's a thrill honestly this song perfectly describes gemini's and like yes of course i'm in for the ride i've been in for the ride but um there is this one lyric there you said um gemini scope give me depth till i'm dead if you know gemini's you guys know that not that they overthink but they do overanalyze things a lot and that is relatable if you are around gemini's or if you're a gemini yourself mm -hmm. this song just gives like which i'm pretty sure the album is gonna be just like this just i mean it's like we said called gemini right yeah i do want to say i feel like gemini's get a bad rep because of the whole two-faced thing and it's not that they're two-faced it's just that they can equally see both sides and they're oftentimes in the middle, so they can't decide. So then it just seems like they're two-faced. Like, they're like, oh, one minute they're on this side, the next they're on this side. It's just that they could see the whole scope. But oftentimes they just, like, land in the middle and they can't pick a side. 
Mm-hmm. True. Track number four is called Buttons. okay to me Nothing yeah too crazy i think so far my favorite is mercury i like how it started i like the bass it changed super it chill. up from the first three songs but yeah super chill <clears throat> i want to clear your throat real quick <clears throat> we all heard sorry. it girlfriend don't try to hide it <laughs> sorry she's a smoker now that's gonna be on no, our, on our podcast oh, you, you go i <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Uh, next track is a very very familiar song that we're all familiar with is bad habit it's allergy season yeah that's true let's listen to bad habit one time for one time with these nice headphones wanted me i wish i knew Now, my take on this song, because I'm a Gemini and I could relate to what he's saying, I wish I knew you wanted me, is because, like, she told me how, like, Geminis like to be more on a spirit, like, mindful connection, like, mind to mind. So, like, I felt this so much with her, not with her, but I connected with this song, with the lyrics of, I wish I knew you wanted me. Because it's like, even though, even though I know, even though I know she wants me and we're in love and we're going to be together forever, it's just that Gemini side of me of like, like kind of questioning, like, I just wish I knew, I like, I wish I knew you wanted me, but I do know. 
which perfectly describes a Gemini. Yeah, because it's right. Like, exactly. We've been together for six years. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, we live together. Everything. I, I this mean, is a long term relationship and he still has questions. It's not that I have questions. It's just that, like, I wish I knew you wanted me. Play that, John. If you get it, you get it. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a constant battle. With my head, of course. Like, it's so crazy because with this album so far, like, I really relate to it. So crazy. So cool. Gemini writes. Kind of mad that I didn't take a step at it. Thought you were too good for me, my dear. Never gave me time of day, my dear. It's okay, things happen for reasons that I think are sure. Yeah, I wish I knew. I wish I knew you were me. I wish I knew. I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish I knew. Yeah. This is my favorite part. When he sings like this. Yeah, yeah, very, very good song. Bad Habit, very relatable to me, Gemini. Um, Cause I wish I knew you wanted me. Like sometimes when like I want to feel love, I just wish I could I read your mind and like know that you do love me. <laughs> Even though I know you do love me, but I wish I knew. No. Like I wish I knew. Yeah. Like basically, I'm saying like I wish I could go in your mind and like read pull my out, like pull out a file and that says right there like i do love him i'm not just fronting you know i'm not just bullshitting okay i think you're just like <laughs> over over sharing at this point what? of something that's not what? <laughs> that's just how it I'll just if it. you know you know like this is how yeah. it is with gemini if you so. know you know 
Um, Can't say much. The next track is a 50 second track, but it it's also too like not really a, a thing that like we daily go through of like, do you love me, babe? Do you love me? Oh, she yawned. Don't we got the OG Daisy. in the building. Um, <laughs> it's not like a fight. It's not like a fighting thing. I don't know why you kind. Of, I feel like you kind of made it seem like we fight about this, but we don't fight about this. It's just like a thing I bring up probably like once a week of like, babe, I feel like. And then while now it's easy to say like, I wish I knew you wanted me. Yeah. So I don't think we're like the fighting type. That's what it sounded like when she said all that. Are we the fighting type? We never fight. All right. Next track is a 50 second interlude called Together. Let's listen. Twinkle, twinkle. twinkle. that maybe that was purposely placed in the middle of the album to say like okay now the rest are gonna be love songs because the first half of the album is you know it's very iffy he doesn't know if he's receiving the same love back that he's giving maybe this is like setting a new theme for the next half of the album yeah yeah, we'll find out. All right, we'll find out. Next is Cody Freestyle, track seven. I really like his freestyle on the oh the other album. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What's Playground. that freestyle called? Yeah, that's the album, but I forgot what the freestyle. Sometimes I feel the wind. Inside? No. In South I think. If you know, you know. I don't deserve the blame. I just don't feel the same. The feelings I attend. Oh, it's from Apollo. Oh. It's outro freestyle slash forever. That's the freestyle we I'm love. Just not Are you following? I'll never ask for that much. 
super long outro now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, we also want to say thanks for the subscribers. We finally hit 500. Oh, yes, thank you guys. Almost to that 1,000. We That's appreciate crazy. you guys. And we are going to be uploading a lot more. Um, we're just getting back in our groove. And yeah, so expect a lot more videos. Not a lot more. Oh well, yeah, a lot more. Yeah. Frequent videos, at least once a week. At least. Yeah. We're not sure for sure how many a week, but for sure once a week. Whoa, there's a dragon right here. I feel like it's going to roll into the next track. Let's just listen. Oh, no, no. Do you have anything to say about that freestyle? I don't. Me neither. So track eight, Once Amber. Once upon a time, there were two lovebirds. One shy, one so not. They met each other at the perfect time. And one just didn't know how to handle it. Like the beat has to drop. Yeah. It just feels like something. If not, then. Yeah, I don't think it is. Instead of a beat dropping, he just showed off his vocals. I did like this song. I don't have much to say about it except for that I did enjoy it. Yeah, it was alright. It was decent until the last part where that electric guitar came in and his vocals. But the whole time, the whole first half, three quarters, I just felt like it was just ongoing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just me. Next track is number nine, Sunshine featuring Fushi. That's my chair. Sorry. I didn't pass gas. Featuring Fushi. Fuchila.
Okay, starting a little different. Catching up to you lately Been a couple months since I told you it's over Caught me off guard when I saw you last week Oh, so tough, but you bluffed when you had me Saying my ex like my name ain't Steve Gave you a chance and some dopamine Safe to say after me you peeped Still to give you dick anytime you need Taking it just as hard Criticize me all But I'm always gonna be They were They were But I'm always gonna be They were They were But I'm always gonna be I took the high road I like how it felt like a dialogue between the two. Also, the feature was really good. She had a beautiful voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a good song. It was whatever to me, but let's get on with it.
the last track is Give You the World. Um, I think it's like you said, like this second half kind of is more like on the opposite side of what he was saying in the first half of the album. Yeah. At least this song for sure. It's like, okay, he's found someone, I guess. They're trying to make oh, up. They're trying, yeah. But the last track is Give You the World, number 10. a lullaby This 
last song you really could tell all his different like he said mentioned earlier all his different pitches yeah that he could do with his voice um but yeah there's that album that song just put me to sleep um it was a cool album i think my favorite is still mercury i just love his flow in mercury and of course bad habit is very good i think also the other one that i like is um the cody freestyle amber was pretty slow for me too but it wasn't bad i think that this album the more you listen to it the more it'll grow on you that's for most albums i feel like yeah i mean there is some albums though for sure don't get me wrong where it's like oh this is a good ass album like yeah. from the first listen but for i think that's kind of it's more rare to find an album like that where it's like the like the first listen is like oh yeah this is this is the one you know but this one yeah it's, it's for sure one that you should fall so it's a for sure one that's gonna grow on us but yeah now that we got listened to it after a month that's been out we could finally listen to it on our own and that's the end of this reaction don't forget to like and subscribe and um yeah like we said we're back and we're going to be uploading more videos. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. We are looking at your guys' comments and we do have a lot of suggestions to react to music videos and to react to different artists, their music. So, yeah, stay tuned for those. We will for sure um, listen to our fans and, yeah, comment. Let us know what you guys want us to listen to. And do you have anything else to add? We appreciate you guys for still watching and commenting and interacting with our content. I know we were gone for about two months. Mm -hmm. However, life happens. We have tons of new things that have happened in our life and had taken up our time. So we just appreciate you guys for still tuning in and watching. And Please forgive us. It's basically what you're saying. Please forgive no, us. No, not at all. Kidding, I'm just saying like, you know, I'm sure... It, it, <laughs> Yeah, if I anyone mean, was watching, yeah. they're like, what the heck? Like, you guys are, you know, pushing out content and then you're like, ghost. And now you're back. <laughs> we <laughs> back. So. I'm kidding. It's true, though. Life does happen. And not in a bad way, just in a very good way. And Yeah. Very yeah, like good. we said, we could get into, because um, we also want to get back onto our podcast and do actual, like, sit down videos and just conversate. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, then that's when we'll hopefully get a guest coming on at a, th a thousand subscribers so push us to that thousand subscriber mark guys and then we could get some guests in here and then you guys could um suggest guests that are in vegas yeah or outside of vegas and you guys just fly them in whatever they're paying for it <laughs> yeah you guys pay for the <laughs> for the ticket nice. uh, but yeah so we'll see you guys on the next one like i said don't forget to like subscribe like and subscribe I have caught in mouth already. I need to drink some water. But um, we'll see you guys on the next one. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.